In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the molecular weight of the air we breathe. The question reads, assuming that air consists of nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, calculate the molecular weight of air. Before we start doing this, if we were to add up these four percentages, we would not get 100%. We would just get a little less than that. That's because air consists of other trace elements that are not included in this calculation. Nonetheless, what we're supposed to do is find the molecular weight of nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, argon, and carbon dioxide first. Nitrogen gas consists of two nitrogen atoms, as N2. Oxygen also consists of two atoms, namely two oxygen atoms. Argon is represented by AR, and carbon dioxide is CO2. You'll need a periodic table next, because that will provide us information about the molecular weight. For example, nitrogen has a molecular weight of 14.007 grams per mole. 14.007 grams per mole. And because there are two nitrogen atoms for every molecule, we multiply this by two. The same applies with oxygen. Its molecular weight, according to this periodic table, is 15.999, just shy of 16. So 15.999 grams per mole times two. That's the calculation for oxygen. The molecular weight of argon, that's a noble gas. It doesn't interact with any other element. It has a molecular weight of 39.948. 39.948 grams per mole. Notice that we do not multiply it by anything. And carbon dioxide consists of carbon. Its molecular weight is 12.011 grams per mole. We will add that to the molecular weight of two oxygen atoms, so this exact expression. Now we will use our calculator to find out what each of these are equal to. This one is 28.014. Similarly, for this, we have 15.999 times 2. This one remains the way it is, and this one sums up, let's find out, 12.011 plus 15.999 times 2. And we get 44.009 4, grams per mole. Next, we take each of these values and multiply them by their percentage. So we will multiply this by the percentage of nitrogen being 78.084. But this percentage needs to be made into a decimal. So divide it by 100 so that it's no longer a percentage but a decimal value. If we divide this by 100%, we end up with 0 0.78084. If we divide this by 100, it's 0 0.20946. For argon, dividing that by 100 gives 0 0.00934. And this one, after dividing that by 100, is 0 0.0003. From here, we multiply them all out and sum them up. For example, taking 28 0.014 times 0 0.78084 gives us the percent composition of nitrogen being 21.874. You will repeat this for the other three and then add them up. Make sure that your final answer comes to two significant figures after the decimal place. If you do it correctly, you should end up with a value that's roughly Twenty eight point nine six. Twenty eight point nine six grams per mole is the molecular weight of the air that we breathe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below or use our website at biology forums.com. Thank you for watching.